Hey everyone, welcome back everyone to NASCAR Thunder 2004 My Team Career Mode. So last episode we went to Las Vegas, the last episode. Again, if you are new, make sure you all do hit that red subscribe button, turn on your post notification, switch the bell, click all to be notified when we upload a video. But today, this is our second video of the day. Hope you all are having a great Friday. Um, last video we did again if you all haven't checked out the rest of the videos I posted from Monday and Wednesday make sure you all go check them out and also you all this is the second video of today for Friday so again I hope you all are having a great Friday the second video of the day if you guys haven't checked out the NASCAR Dirt Today Daytona the season one finale make sure you all go check that one out that I uploaded earlier this afternoon but now this is another NASCAR NASCAR video game we're doing might as well we're here we look at the points. Only thing we care about is where we are. All the way down, we're in 38th place right now. 38th place. We definitely got a lot more work to do. And man, there's definitely some drivers all the way back to 45th place. That's something right there. So right now in team management, we have a grand total. We have hundred and ten thousand dollars in the budget right now and definitely right now for shop edition we do have a fab preparation shop coming in after the next eight races we'll have that coming in um, so after the Atlanta race we'll have seven races left till we can get that one so the only thing we can do is just go straight to the race so I guess we're going to be taking this one that chassis this engine right here, this body, and we're taking a 52 over overall car. I don't know how it's going to be, but we'll find out again. Make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button. Second video of Friday. Anyway, 52 car rating. Let's hop on into it. EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. This place has it all. They even have a nine-story office and condominium complex right here at the track. And there is always great racing to go along with the amenities. Isn't that right? NASCAR doesn't use restricted plates for this track, which is why it's actually one of the fastest tracks in Winston Cup Series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive into the corners. Steve Park has had some tough breaks during his still young Winston Cup career. He missed a bunch of races in both 98 and 2001 due to injury. And unfortunately, those injuries cost him a shot at the Rookie of the Year and his first top 10 points finish. But he's back now and as good as ever. Joe Nemechek has been struggling at the Speedways this season. Yeah, I really feel bad for those guys this season. They come to these tracks and work so hard, but they just never seem to get the car just right. The Easy Care car has really shown some muscle in his qualifying this year. Starting up front is a big advantage, as you don't have to use the car up to get to the front of the pack. That means when it comes to money time, you still have something left. Somebody did not get going. Somebody on that restart decided not to get going. Yeah, he is. Yes, he is throwing a block.
So far done good. I haven't hit the wall, so that's some kind of consonant so far. This is an 81 lap race. I don't know how about this thing, but Yeah, Casey Mears is blocking. Oh, here I come with a huge run. We were just crunching for Oh, yes, he is going for the block. Oh yeah, Casey Mir. Oh yeah, we have more arrivals. Whoa. Oh yes, he is. Stupid prick. I don't know what is up with these drivers, but oh, uh, they just sometimes it's wants to be stupid. Oh great, I got both arrivals. Stupid idiot. Hear me. Alright, Hermie Sowler's got one coming. He's got one coming. Oh, great. Now I got more rivals. We're in 39th right now. All right, Jack, time to get out of the way. Appreciate it. Hermie Sowler's got one coming. Yes, he is. He's going for the... Whoa. Oh, man, the car sucked up. Sometimes it's just not your day. The 82 car is starting to find out who doesn't like him out on the racetrack. I'm not sure how this all got started, but now they have a little history on the racetrack. It'll be something to watch in the weeks ahead. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports. So long, we'll see you next week at the Darlington Raceway. Wow. I don't know if it's gonna let me restart this or not. No, it's not. Crap. Well, everyone, I do apologize, everybody. Wow. Wow. That sucks. It says Ricky Rudd won the race. <sighs> That just ticks me off. Only did seven laps. You're kidding. Crap. Wow. That's not how we want it. But guess what? This is what we're going to do. Since that happened, we're going to race again. But this time, we're going off to Darlington. There's something else I want to look at. That stinks. It dropped us now back to 40th in the points. Ugh. So guess what, now what we're going to do is, since that happened, we're going to Darlington. Alright, so I guess we're going to be taking more sucky cars, so... I guess we're taking that one. Guess, well, guess we're going to take the same thing what we took last time, but... Yeah, it's going to be a 51 overall car. Alright, I guess we'll go again. Well, this time, let's do it right. Let's not crash into something. Let's get on to it.
This is Joe Moore, along with Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live at Darlington Raceway, the granddaddy of super speedways, in Darlington, South Carolina, for the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? Well, this is an egg-shaped track with different links and different bankings in the east and west turns. That makes it very tough for the drivers. But the question is, why is it egg-shaped? Well, when it was built, the landowner decided he didn't want his minnow farm disturbed, so they simply pinched in the corners of what is now turns three and four to give it the distinctive egg shape that it's now famous for. Jack Sprague is having some trouble in the points this year. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Kyle Petty comes into this race hoping to turn his success around at a speedway track. Well, his crew chief assured me this morning that they've got a fast car. Let's keep an eye on him and see how it goes. The Easy Care car just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. Yeah, by the way, Harry Sallard, you ticked me off last race, and now you're getting it again. Yeah, have fun in the wall. Huh. I can tell you right now, tell we've been in the wall, so. Ouch. It's going to come off before you know it. Lap six out of 73. There it goes. We're about 10 seconds off the leader. Hit your marks and be smooth. Yeah, there it goes. All right. See what everybody else is going to do. Everybody's staying out. I'm coming in. Yeah, because need to make repairs to this thing. We finally had a good pet stop. I am shocked. Good job, boys. Yeah, definitely right now. We got to definitely since... Whoa, whoa, whoa.
I guess. Not what we want. Yeah, the car just got loose on me. Alright, we'll see everybody's gonna do. If they're gonna pit, I'll stay out. If they don't pit, I'll pit. Everybody is pitting. I'm staying. Those cars behind you have their tires. Hey, you the the way. Um, tick I'm taking Jeff Gord off. Oh. Whoa. I don't care who I ticked off. Oh, there we go. Free wide back, we got into the. I'm not gonna say it. I'm surprised we didn't flip on our roof for the second second time in a row. <sighs> I know everybody's going to stay out. We'll see. You know, everybody's staying out. I'll stay out too. I'll have a piece of debris come off before you know it. got smacked into it. Ugh. Get out of there. I'm coming to pit road. We're going to tighten this up and see if that makes it help. Ugh. Get that thing on! Uh, it was supposed to be 22 second pit stop, but it was a 25 second stop. Ugh. Get back on the track. Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun to fix, and I quit, quit hitting the wall. Right now, we're in 43rd place right now. And I don't know, it's just something with this car anymore. No, Spar, how much do you have pain and just push? That'd be the best thing for you to do. Just shoot me and get it over it. Official, could I get thank you? Yeah, a thing fell off my car, and that's what brought out the caution. 
Yeah, I told you all. I'm dangerous. All right. I guess I'm going to stay out. You know what? Change my mind. I'm coming back in. I got to try something here. Seventeen. That's a good stomp right there. We'll take it. Green flag. Jeff Gordon brought out the caution. Alright, if everybody pits, I'll stay out. If nobody done, I'm coming in. We'll see. Guess nobody is, I guess I'm coming in. I've been on pit road more and more than being on the track. Here we go. We're off. We're on lap 35 out of 73, so... I think I may have tired it a little bit too much. Yeah, it looks like I did. Clear has about nine seconds on us. Caution. Another piece fell off my car. <sighs> All right, I'll see if everybody pits. I'll stay out. If they don't, you know the strategy. Back on pit road. All right, nobody's pinned. I guess I am. Go back on the same adjustment that we had before. So I had the car way too snug. So we're gonna change that real quick. All right, we're out. So right now we're on lap 42 right now out of 73. What's the fuel looking like? Twenty point five right now on fuel. Oh we got cars pinned right now. I definitely want to stay away from my rivals.
Oh boy, some of the leaders are coming in. Crap! I'm staying out. P6 right now. We're in sixth place right now. Now Mark Martin's not happy. Make it, make it. right there but it's what it is there all right I guess we'll see P19 P19 right now I am staying away from this wall. Take it easy on those tires. Keep my butt away from that wall. We get a 19th place finish. That's going to be good. I think we can make it on fuel, I believe, too. I'm trying to catch up to the pack. I'm trying. Oh, we got cars pinned again. Any of them for a spot? Yeah. P14 right now. Save your tires. Oh yeah. What's the feel looking like? 17.3. I 
right now. Come on, leader, get up there and laugh them. Yes, they're a lap down. Oh crap, I need to quit hitting the wall. Man, we could not have a top 10 finish here. Since he's a rival, I'm letting him go. Since he's not for a spot, so I'm letting him go. Lap 61 out of 73. 15.6 right now on fuel. This race needs to stay green. Right now we got 10 laps to go. 13.2 on fuel. So we're good. We're in 14th right now. A piece of debris fell off my car again. All right, now we're gonna have a tough call. Do we pit or stay out? We'll see. All right, nobody's pitting. All right, I guess I'm coming down pit road now. Since we don't have too many laps left to go. Come down and get four for our tires and make an adjustment. Make some repairs and maybe we'll see if we can maybe go get a top 10 if we're lucky. But we're going to try. All right, we're getting ready to take off. Be careful and stay out of trouble. That's it. Looks like Mark Martin's going to win the race. Lots of caution laps were run in this race. Well, it was definitely a busy day for the Pontiac pace car driver. I really don't know why we had so many. Just one of those races, I guess. The Easy Care car definitely got a little banged up. And it shows what an effect that can have on your finish. You know, some of these teams have multiple cars, and a race like this won't set them back too far. It's the guys who have only one or two cars that suffer the most. But hey, it'll make you learn to take care of your car in a hurry. The 82 car is starting to find out who doesn't like him on the racetrack. You don't make it into Winston Cup racing without being competitive. And sometimes these instincts get a little out of hand. Should be fun to see what happens next. We hope you enjoyed today's race as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. We'll see you next week at Bristol. We get a P14. 14th place finish. Now we got a new total of $213,000 right now in the bank. Let's see who finished. Mark Barm won the race. Mark Barm won the race, Dale Jr. second, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, Sterling Martin, Kevin Harvick, Bobby Labonte, Jeff Byrne, Ward Burton, and Johnny Benson, the top ten. 
Hanster and Lewis in 13th. We finished 14th. We end up leading three laps. And we started back in 43rd place. And we finished P14. That is really good. We finished 14th. We will take it. Oh, man. Jimmy finished back in 22nd. And all the way down to Mike Skinner in last place. That's how it looked. Oh, now I get this. It says, place team team members. A happy team can make all the difference. It looks like some of your team members are happy they signed with you. Keep up the good work and make sure to keep an eye on your team Venus rating. Okay. Well, that right there gets into a crazy one right here. So, man, we go to Bristol next. Bristol, baby. So, yeah. I was not planning to do two races at all. But then, you remember, we had the crash on lap 9, lap 10 at Atlanta, which it kind of sucked. And then we come back and we finish a P14. Before we go, let's see how the points are. All right, we was 40th in the points. Now we move all the way back up to 37th right now in the points. And we are tied with Mike Skinner to get 36th place. We are tied. But that's all right. We got some good points today. We'll take it. So we go off to Bristol the next time we do this. So I appreciate you all. Thank you all again so much, you all. Again, if you guys haven't checked out the first video I uploaded earlier this afternoon, make sure you all do go check that one out. The NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Season 1 finale. And then you guys got this long video, which we were not planning to do two races, but then crap happens. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, if you're new, make sure you hit that red subscription button. Turn on your post notification, which is the bell. Click on them. You will be notified when we upload a video. Anyway, thank you all again so much, you all. Hope you all enjoyed the double upload. And that's it. So thank you all. Have a great rest of your Friday. And enjoy the rest of, and, and enjoy your weekend. And the rest of your Friday and weekend. Thank you all. We will see you all on Monday. Now, I don't know what the video is going to be for Monday, but you all have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you all. Have a great rest of your week the rest of the Friday and your weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. Take care.